Well, hi there and good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 19th annual Walk for Thought. I'm Tim Blotz from Fox 9, and of course, you know this guy. Paul Allen, play-by-play -play guy for the Minnesota Vikings. Super proud to have taken part in this charitable event. 10 consecutive years and uh, living with three aneurysms in my neck. When they asked me to do it, I was like, boom, I'm in. Yeah, so many of us know people who suffered traumatic brain injuries over the years, which is why we're, we're so honored and so proud to be a part of this. And this is a family gathering year after year. We always talk to David King from the Minnesota Brain Injury Alliance about how this is really a family reunion because you get to check in with people and see their progress and celebrate their successes and maybe commiserate with a step backwards or two. You know, that um, the way Tim lays that out, I got a little emotional because I don't want to be the person that, like I've seen and heard so many times with so many different things where I'm hammering on the fact that this is virtual and we're not together and we're doing the best we can, which we are. But you took me back to the, the park and the, the gazebos and adjacent to the lake and everybody being together and how much I miss it and how much we miss you and just how much we can't wait to see you and the progress and just hear the stories. You're so right, man. One person we know that desperately wants to be with everyone today is Randall McDaniel. He's got a heart that's as big as the state of Minnesota. You've met him year after years. He cares, and he cares deeply about all of you, and, and it's just crushing him today not to be a part of all of this with us. You know, and Randall, obviously a Hall of Famer from the, the NFL, um, has had concussions and has known many who probably have had concussions and brain situations, Tim, and they didn't open up, and they internalized, and they didn't say anything about it, and then things got worse. And that that's a common thread message for me, not only on my K-Fan radio show, but at our yearly event, is make sure you open up, and specifically men, when you know something's off and you need help. And that means you. And speaking of help, giving, giving extravagantly is how I live. And if you get the opportunity to give at braininjurymn.org to this cause, you're not going to regret it. It's going to help a ton of people. And what this is all about today is coming together. We want you to go out into your neighborhoods, walk through the park, take a picture and then post it online, perhaps even a video too, with the hashtag walk for thought because we want to see everyone out there participating today. Yeah, the pictures, the videos, everything, they'll be posted, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And and again, I'm not, you know, I'm not like banging on it, but I kind of am because it's important. Just think about um, your life and what you had in March and then where it is now. And think about a charitable endeavor like this that reaches out and helps so many people and so many people like David King, Pat Marciniak, and so many people who put so much time into it, please give if you get the opportunity. If it's just $5, that's great. If it's 5000 that's better. Uh, but, but dig deep for that because it helps so many people. You can give right here at this website and, um, and they need it and those in need need it and we love you for that. BrainInjuryMN.org, the walk for thought. Thanks so much for allowing us to be a part of your lives again this year, even if it is a little distant. Have a great Saturday morning. Post those pictures. We love to see them. Hashtag walk for thought. We'll see you later.